Hi Church, hope you're having a great day so far. My name's Darren, a part of the Manchester Central campus. And I'm um, just really privileged to bring this devotion to you um, whenever you are watching it, whether it's in the morning, the afternoon, the evening, just as you get up, go to bed. And um, Happy New Year as well, and I uh, hope Everything is going great for you so far. We're talking uh, about faith and faith stories. And I just believe um, that this year, 2022, is going to be one of our best yet. That as we walk with Jesus, as you walk with Jesus, and um, you feel his peace, you feel you know his hope, you um, get consumed in his love, and as you walk with him, um, this year will be a great year. Let me tell you a story. A few years ago, um, I worked for my local council. I was a housing officer and um, I'd worked for the council for 14 years. Um, I liked my job. I liked the people that, that I worked with. Um, and they knew I was uh, a Christian. We, we, The team we worked with ran many different projects that housed people um, from the rough sleeper to the asylum seeker. Um, we um, would help people and support people into their own houses and accommodation. And um, there, were, there were many different projects. Uh, and it was great because we got to see people um, flourish and thrive. And on one occasion, there was this family, uh, a single parent who had two young boys. And um, they were um, housed in one of our, in one of our projects. Uh, but the boys were extremely violent. I can't go into much detail, but um, just think violence and you will be there. Uh, they were only four and six. The family were um, refugees for, from a war-torn country and they had seen some indescribable things. And yes, it had affected them, but the boys were violent towards each other. They were violent towards people who came into the house and they weren't able to be put into school at the time because of their violent nature and tendencies. Um, and everybody who was working with them had a story of um, something that had happened um, when they went to visit. And my colleague, I didn't actually run this uh, or was a part of this project, but my colleague was and I uh, was just getting on with my work. And I heard her say, oh, I've got to go and visit this family and I really don't want to. And uh, she made this statement. She said, even Darren's God couldn't sort this one out. And it just, you know, like when things just like um, grab your attention or spark your interest. It was like a little bit of a dare, to be honest. And I, I, I spoke across the office and I said, what do you mean? And she then told me about uh, the situation and the circumstances and the several incidences that had happened with this family. And that she was due to go and visit because the property had been damaged. And before anybody would go out, we needed to assess the damage to see what was needed and whether the family would be have to be moved out while the damage was repaired. And so I said to her, I said, I'll go with you. Let's go now. And um, she was like, OK, buddy, you're going to see it. And um, so we we did what we did. We got in the car and we drove up and she continued on the journey there to tell me about different incidences, different circumstances. All the time I'm I'm praying, thinking, God, you got to show up here. And um, we, we got there and we got out of the car and um, she, um, she stepped out and I said, okay, let's pray. And I prayed a simple prayer. Um, just, Father, help us in this situation. Bring change and transformation to this circumstance and I knocked on the door and as I knocked on the door she stepped back and I'm like what are you doing she said well last time I did that they ran out and lunged at me so I was like oh okay um so I was I was um yeah pretty concerned to be honest um but kind of felt I'll hold my ground here and the, as the door opened she stepped back a little bit further but as the door opened these two boys looked up at me the youngest held his arms up, so I picked him up 
and he cuddled into my shoulder. The, the eldest, who was six, grabbed hold of my colleague's leg and cuddled her. She was gobsmacked. We then walked into the house and just was able, with the mum's position, uh, permission, sorry, to spend some uh, a brief time praying for the children, praying for her family. It turns out she was a Christian. She asked us, and she said, um, "Can you can you pray for us?" So I prayed for them. We prayed for the house, um, and we prayed for the family. Um, and it was it was amazing. It was one of those moments that is etched into my mind. On, we did what we needed to do. We assessed the property, and then on the way down, it was pretty quiet. Um, in the car when we got to the office everyone was like in anticipation as to what had happened and we walked through the door and um, my other colleagues were like what happened and um, she just simply said Darren's God showed up and um, it was just one of those moments where I suppose anything could have happened but what it did is it 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 taught me and it increased my faith to know that I, when I step out in faith God shows up and I would just encourage you this year to step out in faith. Grab those opportunities. I dare you to listen out for these opportunities. Listen out for these situations and, um, and step up and step out in faith. Because when we do that, we get lives transformed, um, relationships restored, changes in circumstances and people telling the stories for us of what God does. Hope you have a great rest of the day, whatever you are up to and doing. And I pray that you will have a blessed 2022, that God has gone before you, that you are favoured, that he has opportunities, that he, he has things that he wants you to get stuck into and involved in. And he has opportunity for you to step up and step out in faith and see incredible things. Have a great day. See you soon, church. Bye.